teach y'all how to set the BPM to a two track in Pro Tools. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do obviously is to open up Pro Tools. Um, I'm just gonna start in a new, a complete new session. Um, rather than going off of like a normal template or whatever that I would, um, I would usually do. BPM set Pro Tools. I mean, y'all would y'all would normally just you know say y'all's artist name and, and song or whatever, but in this case, we're gonna just start a new a new session. All right, so this is how it's this is how it's looking. First thing you're gonna have to do is create a click track. You're gonna go to track right here. You're gonna go to the bottom, create click track. Let's make this a little bigger. Uh, so that's gonna be right there. We are going to make a new track. Your two track is gonna be a stereo. You're gonna change that to stereo. That's just gonna stay audio track. You can name this. You know, I name mine. Name mine beat. <clears throat> now you're gonna get your get your beat from, from YouTube or whatever, download it on whatever you gotta download it on. I'm just gonna use a random just this is just something something from a session somewhere or something so. so we've got our beat in here play it out for a second <laughs> All right, so you've got this little um, little button right here. This is actually the metronome. The metronome is what makes the ticking sound for those of y'all that, that don't know the terms. Um, when you turn this on, when you just click it to turn it on, it's gonna do this. That's kind of the sound it's giving you. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do to set the BPM is you're going to want to double click into this 120 right here, just to where it's lit up. After that, you're actually going to use um, the button T on your keyboard to um, to tap in uh, the BPM. So it's going to play. We're going to play it. I'm going to tap to it. Um, and then once I tap for four bars, two bars, something like that, I'm going to hit enter. Um, and it's actually going to put a different number into here. So. <laughs> So you heard I was doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you just want to tap to it. It's it's not rocket science. <clears throat> After you do that, there's a chance you might be a little bit off. But what you're gonna do is just take that first where it's dropping in right there. We're gonna take it and we're gonna put it on one of these. You can see the bars here. One, two, three, four, five, all the way at the top. Um, you just kind of want to line that up with one of the darker lines rather than uh, the ones in between. <coughs> so we're gonna put, I'm gonna put it right there. We're gonna zoom in. If you don't know how to zoom in, uh, T on the keyboard is zoom in, and then R is to zoom out. Um, we're just gonna line that up right there like that. <clears throat> You're gonna play it back. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because it's it's hitting a little hard, uh, but. You're gonna play it back with the metronome on. This is to, to check your work, right? So. All right, so you can see, you can see it's a little bit off. And uh, you know, you can hear that it's off, but you can actually visually see it. Uh, right here, that's on there. You can see right there, there's a little gap. It's getting a little bit, um, it's getting a little bit off track. So what we're gonna need to do is bring it back a little bit. So it's at 158. We're just gonna. You can either drag with your uh, drag with your mouse, or you could just type it in. I'm just gonna do 157. I'm gonna go down one. <clears throat> You're gonna have to realign this. Uh, so, oops. <coughs> realign that, <clears throat> and just make sure it's you know lined up. Play it back. Check the work again. <laughs> So 
that's that's how you set the BPM. Now you do want to encase, um, you know, you just want to check, but you can like go to another part of the beat like later on and just make sure you can visually see all this lining up. You see it's all matched to the grid. Um, <coughs> so that's that's how I find the BPM. So if you want to know what this actually helps with, it's going to be with uh, when you're copying and pasting something, um, flying the hook, uh, any of that. Um, it's just going to help keep everything aligned. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you got something else you want me to do, uh, hit me up. I'll make another video. I'm going to start posting more often um, and try to teach you all what I know. So appreciate it. Thank you. See you later.